Howdy y'all. Got an update on the 257 project. Uh, we got titanium tube in, we got it machined, got the couplings for the tube to the receiver made, plug on the end of the tube, and transfer port made. So uh, it's assembled up to that point. We're fixing to hit it with some air, see if it's going to hold air. So let me bring you in and show you what we got so far. All right. Here's the gauge. Walk around to the other side. There's my fill port and also a way to degas it. That little screw right there. So we're gonna hit it with a little bit of air. Alright. You guys set up, I'm setting up on a this Benjamin bottle I got. It's only got regulated to 2000. I don't want to hit it too much. I just want to hit it a little bit. I need to cock this thing first. Definitely here in the lake. Valve is leaking. I'm gonna shoot it once just to see. Oh yeah, she's gonna work. All right, pop it valve is leaking. That's what it sounds like, either pop it valve or the uh, valve O-rings are leaking. So we're gonna take it back apart and check it out all right we're going to do attempt number two you don't hear nothing is it 348 1500, 1600, 1700, 1800, 1900. We're holding at 19, that's 2000, 2006. I don't think it's showing up on the camera here. LEDs, you know. Slowly creeping up about 2044. All right, I'm going to turn this bottle off. And we may, may have a slow leak still, but you know, we're not done building on it yet. I'll take a picture of this here. <clears throat> what I done was uh, I had to take the valve out. And obviously the valve is the first thing you put in. So basically you had to tear the gun completely down other than I don't have to disassemble the tube part. But uh, 
I found all in the handling of something, I, I must have dropped it or I dinged it up against something and, and messed up the face on the uh, valve body. So I had to lap that down a little bit. Then I hand lapped the uh, poppet valve to the body uh, with some grinding compound, got it kind of seeding up. So we may have to seize on it a little bit more than that, but so far it seems like it's holding. It's dropping slowly. You can say we may we may have to do a little more to it. We got a long ways to go yet. I'll try to take a picture of this gauge to see if it'll show up in the picture. But uh, right now everything's looking good. Next thing is uh, we're going to thread the barrel, and we need to drill and tap the top up here. Uh, let me uh, turn it here. Need to drill and top, drill and tap the top up here to hold up. Big tinny rail. So she's looking good so far. Okay, so I got out the soapy water and a Q tip. Went around here and you know all these connections and down here, no leaks. The little screw wasn't leaking, but this fill port was leaking on the MPT threads. So we degassed it and uh, tightened that up good and tight and filled her back up. Uh, the little bottle was almost empty. It only put 1700 in it, I believe. And then, uh, so I went and got my big bottle, bigger bottle. It's regulated at 3000, but it wasn't full either. It filled it up. It said 2705 or something like that. And uh, <clears throat> let it set for a couple minutes. Let the heat that it generates filling up dissipate. And it brought it down to 2682, I believe it was. Uh, 2683 and somewhere around there I got a picture of it <laughs> anyway it's been setting for almost an hour and it's lost about 10 more psi so still got a little bit you know the valve as you use it and, and keep pressure against it it starts uh, conforming to the valve body and stuff and help sealing up so we may we may have to lap it some more too so but otherwise she's looking good all right thanks for watching